Four weekends, 800 participants and a unique chance for Europeans to strengthen their democracy and help shape the EU of tomorrow. It is uh, really important to make the voice of young people heard in Europe because we are going to live in the future. We are building right now. The Conference on the Future of Europe aims to give EU citizens a say in their future. It's not just about improving the EU, but about coming up with new ideas. It's interesting to see the point of views of different countries, young people, elder people, and to see how they think about democracy. They discussed how to make Europe greener, safer and fairer, and debated ideas on everything from healthcare to digitalization, the economy to European values. The climate crisis was also in the spotlight. I've been part of a problem for climate, um, destroying the climate and so I thought it's time for me to change. It's not going to happen overnight but let's start the process. For us this weekend has started the process. Participants spoke about the EU's role in the world, discussing topics like trade, humanitarian aid, EU enlargement, asylum and migration. There's one billion of people willing to come tomorrow to European Union if you just open the borders. So that we have to, to have some unified uh, policy about it. Representatives will present their panel's ideas to the conference plenary to help shape the conference's conclusions. They'll meet online for a second round of deliberations in November and will finalise their proposals in December and January in cities around Europe. The conference will deliver its recommendations in spring.